Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful wafer paper filigree design. And I saw this design on Instagram. I will put the link in the description. Today I'm going to show you my way of doing this decoration. So let's get started. To make this filigree design, I'm going to use simple wafer paper. This one is 0.27 millimeters and it has two sides. One side is bumpy side and the other side is shiny side. And what I need to do is I need to cut thin strips. I find that about maybe quarter an inch or seven millimeters works great for this application. You can use a pair of scissors and just cut straight lines but I would suggest you to use a craft knife and a long ruler and just use this to cut thin strips of wafer paper. I actually have this paper cutter. This is 12 by 12 inch and it works like this. And I find that that's the easiest way to create my decorations or cut wafer paper. So that's what I'm going to use today. For this design, I need about 10 strips. So I'm measuring quarter an inch. And I'm just slightly moving my V for paper according to these measurements. Okay, I have 10 pieces. They are similar width. What I need to do next is I need to align them on one side right here. And I'm going to bring just a little bit of water. You can see I, I barely have any water here. And to help my paper paper stay in place, I'm going to use these paper clips. So what I need to do is I need to dip my wafer paper in water just on one side. Very small amount and I'm making sure that I have water in between all the layers of wafer paper so it's going to stick. And I will take this paper clip and fix my wafer paper on one side. Like this. And now to shape and create our filigree design, you can see it's already going outwards. But what I found the easiest way to create even shape is I'm going to wrap this wafer paper around my clip very, very tightly around. And I'm going to pinch on this side. Now you can see that on, on this side my pieces are not the same length and this helps to create this beautiful shape. So what I'm going to do is take my pieces of wafer paper and you can adjust, you can move these pieces on this side, but I find that the easiest is just to twist and create the same shape. So I'm going to cut my wafer paper here like this, holding my shape in place. Take again, dip it in water, small amount, but making sure that I have water in between all my layers and take another paper clip to fix it. So here I have my basic shape and I'm going to set it aside for maybe five minutes until it's fully dry and we can place it on a cake. And now that I have all my elements dry, I'm going to remove my clips. And I wanted to place this on a cake. Here I have this wave for a paper covered cake and I have a tutorial how to do that. The idea of creating these decorations and placing them on a cake in this shape comes from Crumb Cake. I will put her Instagram in the description. And also I saw this technique used by Avalon for making flowers. So, to attach my wafer paper pieces to a cake, I'm going to use piping gel. I have just a little bit of piping gel and a brush. You can use melted chocolate if you're working with buttercream. You can use buttercream to attach your pieces. And I'll start with my first one. What I'm doing here is applying a small amount of piping gel on the back side. And I have two picks in hand to help me with making this sails or decorations stay in place. 
like this and I will apply more decorations with piping gel onto my cake. I'm applying thin layer only on the back side where I know that my wafer paper is going to touch the cake. And I will continue on working on placing these decorations on my cake. And also, alternatively, you can use a piece of plastic wrap or parchment paper to help your wafer paper stay in place. And now that I'm happy with my design, I will set it aside for maybe 15 minutes for piping gel to dry. And now you have it. So I let my wafer paper dry for about 15 minutes and I actually used a piece of plastic wrap because I wanted to make sure everything is going to stay in place. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to learn more about working with wafer paper and creating modern cake designs, visit my website. Link is in the description. I have a lot of free tutorials how to start making beautiful cake designs using in wafer paper. And I'll see you next week on my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina. Bye-bye.